Sooner Scoop HD. That that might be it for you. Yeah, I did. I definitely, my bad, bro. I, I, I definitely, I definitely jumped off the deep end a little bit just because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. You see so many, you see so many knee injuries and things of that nature, and I just kind of knew I couldn't even move it at that moment in time. So I mean, as I was trying to stay poised, you know what I'm saying. My mom wanted to keep racing off the deep end, and it was like the more and more I thought about it, I'm like, dang. But you know, it's all good because it's all God. So I'm back <laughs> out there and I'm playing. What's good? When did you comfort at that time, even on the sidelines of Morgantown, not really knowing what? Understanding it's all it's all good because it's all God, like, so that's what that's what brought me that comfort. Understanding like I I broke my fibula before I didn't have bruise like I I'd have been like I now I'm, I'm out here at this point so that means I don't overcame all that so I mean it's just it is what it is. When you know did you know it was good? When I, I mean, got up, when I got up off the field and I said okay regardless of whatever they say it's all God. But so I could that. Like, when when did you know you had a chance to come back and play and you'd be all right? Uh, when, when, when we got our x-rays and they said everything was they said everything was all good then of course once they said that it was like all right now what's was next hyperextension is that right I believe so what did you ever had anything like that before no sir and I imagine I don't you know I've never hyperextended my knee but I've hyperextended my arm and I remember how painful it was initially yeah but it went away fairly quickly was mm -hmm. that the is that the case that yeah it, uh, that's the case you know of course they got they got me on a uh, a bunch of anti-inflammatory anti and stuff like that. So we're taking care of it, watching, uh, watching and monitoring and the things like that. So. What did it mean to you in that moment, Justin, to have everybody come up and pat you on the head and say, you got this, we got this, all that, and just support I mean, for you from the teammates? I mean, to me, you know, I really, I really ain't try to think of it like that. Like, man, that meant a lot. I was trying to. I was really trying to keep more guys so away from me. Like, like I, I don't want, like, <laughs> we got to get, like, you know what I'm saying? We got a game to go in, even though we didn't win it. But, like, to me, like, Block me out the picture, like okay, I'm next man down, like all right, next man up, like this is like this is what we do, like everybody stay focused on the mission, like don't, like I, I did, I mean it meant a lot. Out of like, dang, they get really careful, but in the moment I'm like, hey man, like what's happening? You good? I'm like, don't worry about me, focus, like you know what I'm saying? Cause if you focused on me, you're not focused on your job, you know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of my whole approach to it, keeping look, everybody focused. Look back on it in fondness, I'm thinking, right? And then in the moment, is that what you mean? Better oh look yeah, back yeah, yeah, like like yeah, yeah, most definitely. Cause in the moment, you know what I'm saying, like. Like, we didn't, we didn't stop the game and put everybody on the bus, you know what I'm saying? We just put the next guy in, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, just trying to keep everybody focused, understanding, like, bro, I'm going to be all right. Like, but everybody, we just got to stay focused, you know what I'm saying? We saw you on the sidelines and how involved you were, you know, after that. Why was that important to you? And, you know, where, did that, where, did that, where does that come from, to be able to do that when you are got all those other thoughts swirling around in your head? So that's the thing that I, I didn't have all those other thoughts. Like, about that, once I, once I got up and I walked in, they said okay. it was good, I said, you know, <laughs> Like, to like, ain't, but, no, ain't, ain't nothing I could do about it now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I done been here before. I took myself back to my fibula injury. My, when I was a young cat, had a, a bruised heel. You know what I'm saying? All, all the injuries I done had and things of that nature, all the hardships. I, I don't overcame them before. Like, I'm going to overcome this. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just how I got myself out of that space. It was like, all right. Now, I gave myself, like, two minutes to cry. Then I heard punt team up. I said, we got to stop. All right, cool. Let me have this tent. Like, I'm, I'm good. Like, I don't care no Like, I'm good. Like, we could, we could worry about this later. Doctors were mad at me and things of that nature, but I'm like, I mean, y'all be mad at me later. Like, we got a game to go in. Like, and I can't help being in here, so, you know what I mean? So, what does Saturday feel like for you to win that to beat those guys? Just to be honest, man, another game. Like, and I know it sounds cliche, but, like, that's just really my approach there. Like, and of course, it felt a little better, you know what I'm saying, old state, but in the end, I was like, man, we were just trying to win that game. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was old state or whoever we played, you know what I'm saying? The mindset was still the mindset. It wasn't no, man, this is battling, fellas. We got like, no, it was literally. Man, this field 100 yard long, 50 yard wide. There's going to be a team on that side, team on this side. 11 on offense, 11 on, you know what I'm saying? So just kind of keeping the mindset, playing this day, you know what I'm saying? Keeping it black and white. Like, it's football. We won the game. Of course, winning is always fun, but as soon as we won, I'm like, all right, what's next? Like, what it mean like, to how have can we get better? But it was I mean? a great defensive effort for you, though. Oh, man, it was a great team effort. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't just a defensive effort. You know what I'm saying? We played complimentary football. You know, everybody is trying to say, oh, the offense thought, man, what? I mean, we don't want to hear all that, man. Like, we don't play offense, defense, man. We play OU. Like everybody in the lock got the same logo. Everybody on that same side, I got the same uniform on. So it's not a offense or defense. It's like, no, nah, we all played a collective good game, and we all won the game. You know what I'm saying? So, how did it, how did your knee feel physically after that one? Hey, felt good. Just know that <laughs> <laughs> felt good. To be able to play though, I'd imagine it was gonna be pretty hard to keep you out of that one. Without a doubt. Competitive edge. Without a doubt. And you won the Don Key Award, though. What did you think about that, you and two of your teammates? 
Oh man, you know, uh, after the fact, I mean, I thought it was a great honor. You know what I'm saying? When I got the award and whatnot, I mean, my mindset was still like, all right, all right cool, but we can worry about this later. You know what I'm saying? Like, the game is the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is where we at in the moment. Once I got to reflecting back home and I got to talking over my parents, man, you know what I'm saying? I got to realize, like, man, this was a, was a pretty good honor. So, if Bedlam wasn't a big driving force and neither was that award free game, even at the senior day honors, you had a lot going on. Yeah. Was there a point, though, before, during, or after we, you were there Saturday saying, man, maybe things go different with my knee and I'm not back out here. Were you able to appreciate that moment of, of being back oh, on the yeah. Oh, a yeah, week yeah. later? Yeah, 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 without a doubt. I mean, I, I appreciate that moment once we got the x-rays and they said everything is good, everything is intact. They say probably just a little, when they gave me my diagnosis, like that's when, that's at that moment, that's when I was grateful, you know what I'm saying? That's when I, you know what I'm saying? And once, once, I, once I got the diagnosis from that, it was more like, all right, like thank you God, but all right, what's next? Like, okay, I know you, 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 you set me here, all right, so now how do we go from here? How do we build off of here, you know what I'm saying? So. Was it how how big was it also to secure bowl eligibility? You know, man, be able to finish your career like that. I man, know it's not what you wanted, but man, hey, look, man, look. I understand, man. It's growing things. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like I'm I'm somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, my my career's done been like this, so like that don't like that. Like what we going through right now, it doesn't affect me because I I see I see bigger picture than right here. I see bigger picture than oh this one bad like man. If you know anything, if you know anything about Via, you know what he mm -hmm. about. You know. He building a foundation, you know what I'm saying? And you, we not in this building if it's not a solid foundation, you know what I'm saying? So some things you have to, have to strip the studs down and all the way to the bottom just to build a solid foundation. And so when people, man, it's a bad man, cool man. Everybody's got their own opinion, cool. But everybody in this building understand, yo, we laying, we laying a foundation for something special. And to me, that's what matters, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. when, when you look at the defense or the team as a whole, the, he's building here yeah what are some of the the things that maybe aren't just don't jump out the page at you that are signs of what you feel like is going to happen in the future as man, far as progress you just walk here man you just you just see like like one thing about me he's, he's a big visual guy you know what i'm saying like everybody can look at that formula for excellence like prepare with like you can look at that and you and you read it like whether you may not consciously read it like all in like no if i look at it I can read all in subconsciously, you know what I'm saying? And that's the type of little stuff, like that's the stuff that, that when you're trying to build something special, like you gotta plant those seeds around. Like they, like to me, like if this was like a garden, like that, like that's the watering. You know what I'm saying? Like you walk into the, through the, the garden to some downtown, like they got the sprinklers going, like that's the sprinklers to us. Like if you walk in here, like you can't not see best as a standard. So even when you think you own the day you off, like and you look over there, like it is what it is. Like, it, whether you say it or not, you, you still regurgitate it to yourself, like best is a stand. And, and, and that's how you lay that foundation and you change the mindsets and you change the attitudes of this program. So to me, it's nothing scheming. It's the, it's the underlying stuff. It's the underlying stuff that not only going to make football, may make great football players, but make great men, make great husbands, great business owners, like whatever football has afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the stuff that's going to carry over in life, just like in y'all profession, you know what I'm saying? So. Sooner Scoop HD.